is the 59th annual Levine family picnic, which means next year will be 60, so we expect everybody back next year. Plus. All right. Um, what else did I want to say? Oh. Where is it? I don't know yet. We'll let you know. No, no, this one. What? Oh, 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 I'm telling you where it's here. This is this is the 59th, though. I just wanted you to stand here with me. Okay? I'm the oldest one We're, we're in Bedminster, and we're in... Uh, um, David and Phoebe's home, it's in New Jersey, that's right. And I'd like to thank Alvin, Lini, who's running around like crazy, Phoebe and, and David for their hospitality. And tell who Phoebe is, descended from. Descended from? Do you want to make the speech? <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, the thank yous are out of the way. The schedule, it's a very important schedule. When do you guys want to play softball? Right away, after we eat. 2.30? Two, 2.30? Two yeah, yeah, so okay, last year, we forgot Hi, to Greg. take the family picture. <laughs> so this year, if we're going to play the game at 2.30, at about 2 o'clock, quarter after 2, we're going to gather at the hill um, behind the house. Watch and take my hair. I'm sorry, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we'll take the family picture, all right? All right, and any and, and the last thing. Um, I'm sorry, I'm in your way. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, th this picnic is being held uh, to honor Uncle Morris, and uh, I thought it would be appropriate if uh, we maybe take a minute and just have a minute of silence for everyone. Just whatever, whatever thoughts you have about Uncle Morris, okay? Just to yourself and all of the others. Hey, we can go, we can go, Bob. All right. So. Who are you? I am Antoinette. I am the great, great aunt of the host and hostess, David and Phoebe. And the family is here, and it's always great to get together and see how all the little ones have grown and all the new ones that have come. And we hope to have this for a long time again, have more picnics. I just celebrated my 87th birthday. I don't feel like 87. You don't look a day over 50, yeah. Annette. Well, I don't feel like 87. I feel more like 55. That's when life begins. That's about right. So, and Annette, you um, have you been to every one of these pictures? I sure have. I have never missed a picnic. You've been to 59 pictures? Mm -hmm. How How have they changed? Well, there's more people, more babies. Yeah. And uh, we used to meet in the park, and this is certainly nicer than a park. Uh huh. And it's very gracious of the host and hostess, Lily and David, to have it for us. No, not just me, That's that's okay. And, uh, it's nice to see the family get together. We used to have satyrs, but I guess this takes the place of it now. And let's hope next year we'll all be around to do it again. Thank you. Absolutely. Sure, one. Sure, Myra was uh, two year, two and a half years younger than me, and when my sister-in-law had Myra, she was very friendly with my sister Bessie. They used to come to New Brunswick. They lived in Westfield and dropped the kids. She, Bessie would drop Ruthie and Annie would drop Myra and they would go shopping and my mother had both kids. When cried, my mother was nursing my brother Milton at the time, so she nursed both kids when the mothers were gone. And she was happy to see them come back. And, uh, we had a very, very good childhood. We were poor, but we all loved each other. There was a lot of love in our family. And uh, the circle is now named for my father and mother, Esther Benjamin. And uh, they were two wonderful people. And uh, the oldest one was Herman, and this is his granddaughter's house that we're having the picnic. Mm. We're very mm -hmm. grateful that we have a place. We used to have it at Barry, my Barry, in Locktown, New Jersey, but he sold the house and he moved to Florida. And now he has the Floridians 
come to his house, and he has a Seder for all the family that live in Miami. Did you just, did you just move to Florida, or have you been living there? No, I, I'm only there for vacation. Oh. I'm not there. So you spend the winters there? I just spend the winters there. Yeah. I've got the best of both worlds. Yeah. I'm happy. Great. Any memories of um, Uncle Morris? Yes. Any any stories Mar you might have yes. about Morris, Morris? Morris and I went to school together, and Morris's girlfriend was Jeanette Shapiro, and my boyfriend was Eddie Blumberg, and we used to double date. Ah. And Myra and Morris met at a uh, a YMH. Date, and uh, they went together for a while and got married. Then nine months later, Jill was born. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's older than my children, and my niece is younger than me. But everybody's well, and everybody's here today. They've come from California, from Miami, from uh, New England. Everybody's here, and it's wonderful to see my family again. Thank you. Okay. All right. So, who are you? Alvin Wesley. I'm Lenore's husband. Uh -huh. So, I'm a Levine by marriage. How long ago were you married? All right. I'm saying maybe 40 years, something like that. Long time. Yeah. So, so what is this Levine family like? Isn't that great? Well, there's certainly, certainly, a, I've never met a family so that was so close uh -huh. that could get together and have a family picnic and have so many people come. It's incredible. Mm. I come from the Wesleys, and they're not in the least family oriented. If yeah. we can get four Wesleys together, uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Huh. So how many years have you been coming to these picnics? Oh, as long as they've had them. Yeah. Come in. 40 years. But when Dave bought this, I think we've been having the picnics here. For three years. Is that it? Is this the yeah. third year? Yeah. 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 So, and I hope we can continue to have them every year here. Do you remember the first picnic we went to? No, I don't recall, but it was, it was somewhere else. Not here. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. Tennis, we had baseball. Uh -huh. I remember that. So, what, do you remember, could you describe it in any detail? Not in any detail. I can get on it. Yeah. But I remember swimming and playing tennis. And I remember it was out in New Jersey somewhere. Yeah. Right? I wasn't there. Oh, you weren't? <laughs> any memorable? All very pleasant. Any yeah. memorable or outstanding pleasant. picnics? And but don't ask me what I did 10 minutes ago. No. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't ask did you know Uncle Morris? I think I knew everybody. You knew everybody. Any... I know Uncle Milton. He's not here, right? right? No, he's not here today. But I knew, I think it was Louis. I knew a lot, a lot of them. Uh, right. Uh, I knew Herman I and what? Pearl. I guess how many people here knew Herman and Pearl? It goes way back. So what, what were Herman and Pearl like? It's a very good it's question. Nice. Herman was the most decent man I'd ever met. Uh -huh. I never heard a mean or an angry word out of him. He was just a very mild man. And Pearl was a tough woman. Uh -huh. He was really very smart. Uh -huh. I wouldn't want to cross. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But did you ever cross? Right. Did you ever cross Pearl? Never. I wouldn't dream. You wouldn't dream. Of <laughs> I, whenever I saw Pearl, I just smile a lot. Uh -huh. Smile and bow as you walked out the door. Uh huh. She was. She was a matriarch. She was very much a matriarch. Uh huh. She was a tough, very tough lady. Did, was Herman able to hold his own? In there? No. No. How did he even try? Yeah. But he was such a gentle soul, uh -huh. a decent guy. Yeah. Uh -huh. How long ago did he die? Oh, yeah. 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 
But they lived to a ripe old age, both. Uh -huh. But I look back fondly on the uh, boat. Well, very, very fond of the boat. Would, would they be comfortable here? I think so. Yeah. This is my daughter. Uh -huh. Clark, they're making a movie. Will you want to wave? You know, she was on the Say stage hi. yesterday dancing. Ah, uh, yes, she was having a dance recital. Can you wave? Camera? Hi. She was dancing. She's ready for Broadway. She's ready to be in 40 seconds. What's your name? Carson. Carson. Uh -huh. Who's your mom and dad, Carson? Um, and ah. do, you, do you like these family pictures? Carson, you live here. You yeah, live here. She lives here. Yeah. She likes these family pictures. You know what she has? She has her own pony. Ask her the pony's name. Beanie Baby. Beanie Baby. Pony. She's a good rider. She's not as good as Mother Phoebe, who is very rare. But she holds her own, and when they have lead line, you know, they have children on ponies, mm -hmm. she wins a, a ribbon. She's got a whole bunch of ribbons. And I'm sure when she is older, she's going to be a, a, an Olympic champion rider. Because she's good now. She's good now. So she's only going to get better. When she gets on her pony, she says, I want to jump. Right? Right? Yeah, right. Uh, yeah. no. Any other questions for Carson? I think we've touched all the bases. Okay. Okay, yeah. yeah. Just the Okay. I'm just a voice. Okay. Who are you? Allison Fritz Fewer. And what's your connection to this one? I am Barry Edwards' daughter and my mother's Juliet. Annette and Herbert's granddaughter. Is that far enough up the yeah. line? How many years have you come to these families? I have m missed one family picnic my whole life. So I've been to 34 of Whoa. the last 35 family picnics. Whoa, that's impressive. Yep. Yeah. And it was just... Uh, the 98 was the year that I missed because Dad and Nicole and Jack and myself went to Greece. So we All right. over Accept day. Acceptable so excuse. That was it, yeah. So uh, what does it mean to you to come? Um, it just wouldn't seem normal not coming to this picnic. It means everything. It's like getting reconnected with everyone in my family that I don't keep in touch with for the year. Um, but think about. And it's just, I don't know, it just feels like part of uh, history. And now that I have children, it's like just this great, it just seems like this great thing to keep, to keep uh, sharing. The continuity. The continuity. Have they changed? Have these pictures changed significantly over the years? Not really. Yeah. <laughs> it actually seems... Yeah. I mean, I think when they were at... Well, they used to be at my dad's house for so many years, so I was really lived the picnic from morning till night. Yeah. <laughs> and I think probably it was a little bit... It was a longer day. We used to do lunch and dinner then, and people used to stay late, but a lot of that was just indicative of dad sort of wanting to have a party. Um, <laughs> and, um, but otherwise, I, they're amazingly the same, sort of the same people still hang out talking to each other. Yeah, the, the same, same people. The same food, <laughs> and it's definitely the same people. <laughs> so you don't, you're not aware of there being like a, a subtle change in who's here and who isn't here? Not really, not really. I mean, you know, I can think of a few people that used to come more when I was younger. Yeah. But, um, no, I, you know, it's kind of the same. always been a hardcore nucleus. Yeah, exactly, and yeah. that really hasn't changed. Yeah. Not at all. And this, yeah. is a, this has been great, that we have sort of a new place for everyone to be. That's so nice to be at. So do you have any um, particular picnic story? Picnic story. Yeah. Anything outstanding, memorable? Well, you know, 
for me, I guess the heyday of picnics was like when I was younger and I got Gary and Larry and they were like my big cousins and also uh, Lori and Lisa used to always come and for me those were the... How old were you? I was... I was probably like eight. Now who are, who are Lori and Lisa? Lori and Lisa are Gary's first cousins. Okay. And, and Karen is the oldest. They are Jill Bob Roy's daughters, but they don't they they don't come, they don't come but anymore. But those were the days for me that it was like really exciting me because and Jeffrey Binder, those were like all my big cousins and yeah. I, I, and I never had any brothers either, so it was kind of like fun for me to be hanging out with the guys and that that was like the picnic to me. Uncle Milton at the grill, my grandfather in his plaid pants and his red sneakers. <laughs> That's kind of my quintessential picnic memory. Do you remember, do you have any recollections of Uncle Morris? Since it's this year we're dedicating it to Uncle Morris and tons, he just passed away. Tons of memories. Any of Uncle stories Morris. or recollections? Yeah, not really picnic stories, but or in my, general. my grandparents lived in the same complex as Uncle Morris and Aunt Myra in Florida, and so I've spent numerous hours there as a kid. I used to walk over to visit them, hang out with them at their kitchen, hang out around their pool. Uncle Marsh is just like the sweetest man with that twinkle in his eye. And I could, you know, he used to just like hold my face. He loved pretty girls. He always made me feel good. There you go. That was Uncle Marsh to me. Great. <laughs> Great. Okay. Okay. Who are you? I'm Aunt Evie. I started out with this family at the age of eight. At the age of eight? I lived next door to them growing up. Uh -huh. When they got locked out of their house, they climbed through my bedroom windows to go into the house. Uh, went with Uncle Milton first, then dated Uncle Jerry. You dated Uncle Milton? Yeah. Went to school. He oh, used to carry. Right. He he's going to kill, kill me. This is he soap used to carry opera my material, books, Bob. He used to carry my books to school. How old were you when you dated him? Well, in high school. Uh -huh. Well, I didn't really. You know, it was neighborly date. Although he said if I would marry him, he better not say it. And Becky will get mad. Wow. Uh, <laughs> we won't let her see this. We won't. And we'll then edit that I part went out. out with Uncle Jerry. Well, he didn't answer the question. What did he, what did he say? If, if, he said if she, if I would marry him, yeah. he would break his engagement to uh, Becky, which was just a joke. Uh huh. Because well, he knew I wouldn't marry him. Uh, and then I went with Uncle Jerry. Why would you marry him? Because he wasn't my type. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't my kid uh, for me. Right. And Enough I said. went with Uncle Enough. Jerry. All right. Uh, just, you know, casual dating. Yeah. We were neighbors and friends. Uh -huh. Then I ended up with the best one in the whole family, Uncle Louie. Uncle Louie. If you want to ask, go around in the family and ask who was the best of all the brothers. You will find they will tell you that Barrett's father was. You think that's the general consensus? That's the general consensus. Unbiased perspective Unbiased. here. Unbiased. I believe you. And, and that's it. And so I've been actually a Levine, m close to a member mm -hmm. since I'm eight. Wow. Long and time. It, so you've been to every one of these picnics? Oh, yeah. I, we started them. Mm -hmm. So how many picnics, any idea, Edie, how many picnics that would be? Barry might have the idea. We, yesterday, Barry and I were trying, at the Terry, we're trying to figure out what was 59 or 60. So around 60. Yeah. Pretty, pretty close. How, how have these picnics changed? How have they changed over the years? Well, they've been in, in different places, yeah. and uh, the, uh, we used to, Pay. We had a family circle, the Esther Benjamin family circle, who used to run, to run it, you know, we would collect money when we had meetings and pay for it. Then it came to the point where we started charging 
members, $10 for an adult, $5 for a kid. We should have charged $5 for an adult and $10 for a kid. Kids ate and drank more than the adults. And then for, then Barry, then we used to have them in parks. And then they changed, then we started having in Barry Fritz's house in Locktown. Mm -hmm. uh, then when he sold the house, we went back to one park, and then uh, the kings offered us the use of their home. And Alvin and Levy Wesley are sponsoring. So if anybody would like, they could make a donation in honor of Jonathan Wesley instead of that we don't we don't pay for the picnic at all. And that's it. And I hope and pray it continues on for another, maybe, I don't know about another 60 years, but. Many years. And many, many years. Do you have a most memorable or picnic Edie, or a most memorable story you can recall? Not real, not really. I enjoyed them all, I think. How about Uncle Morris? Any, any thoughts or recollections of Uncle Morris? I will tell you about Uncle Morris. If there was ever a gentleman, it was Uncle Morris. I know him before he married Aunt Myra, and I want to tell you something. Never in all those years have I ever heard him raise his voice. Hmm. Never heard him hmm. say anything against anybody. Hmm. And I told that to Terry and Jill, that they, if they remember their father, they should remember that he was a real gentleman. A gentleman. Well, that says a lot. And so, of course, I know him all my life. Well, I shouldn't say all, because there were eight years eight that years. I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> OK. <laughs> OK, we're rolling. Hey, so. Who are you? I'm Ellen Kay. Am I supposed to be looking at you or that? No, you look at the camera. Look at the camera. Looking at the camera? Yeah, well, it's just wherever. Or, or somewhere in this direction. Um, it's just a little voice out there. All right. So, um, what's your connection to this family? I'm Marilyn's daughter and Harry and Florence's granddaughter. And how many years have you been coming to this family picnic? Oh, dear. I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't know. I know I've been coming steadily since 1994 without a break. And then um, before that, on and off my whole childhood. I don't know. Why do you keep coming? Because I like to connect with family. I like to feel like I'm a part of something that I that I can't get out of. She <laughs> yeah. can't beat him, Joy. <laughs> no, you know it's it's a club that you can't quit. So that's that's actually kind of good because you don't have to like everybody or agree with everybody, but you're connected to them and they know who you are. What do you remember about when you were a kid and used to come to these? Things? I remember being at Johnson Park, Highland Park, and not much. I just remember a lot of people around and some baseball and um, not trying to remember who everybody was each time, every single year, trying to learn again who everybody was. How, and how have they changed since you were a kid? Yeah. Huh. Well, how have you changed? <laughs> I haven't changed since I was a kid. How have the picnics changed? <laughs> the picnics have changed. Uh, I don't know if they have changed much. I mean, obviously the, the surroundings have changed, but I don't know if what clothes? happens at the picnics has changed at all. There's lots of new kids all the time. And, and I, I don't think they've changed that much yet. What about the people that aren't here? What about the people that aren't here? Well, I mean, that's... I mean, have you Where's been... Where's my clothes? Talking about that change? Where's my clothes? Um, <laughs> I've been cog yes, I'm very cognizant of that change. I, I miss all the elders that aren't here anymore and all the people who weren't even elders yet <laughs> that aren't here. And, uh, but I feel like now we have the photo albums and we keep looking at them and remembering and 
staying connected to those people. And, and I think there's, are you still taping? I think there's more of a consciousness about where we come from now because we have our name tags. And I think people are really much more aware of the lineages. Where's my clothes? And now I have to stop talking. <laughs> There's farming. Oh, this is sister and I come from. What's that background? Well, my father was very impecunious, and, and uh, money was always a big issue. You know, it wasn't that you broke something that you liked. Yeah. It was that it cost money to replace it. Right. Um, and what was, what was his background, or what did he do, your my father? father? My father was an agriculturist. He worked mm. for the, uh, an organization that was trying to help Jewish farmers. Uh, this was Uncle, Uncle Herman. Uncle Herman. Yeah. Yeah. And it was, uh, you know, they never gave first mortgages. They always gave second on the grounds that the land itself warranted a first uh -huh. mortgage. Uh -huh. But a second mortgage was hard to get. Yeah. But, you know, it was, and coming out of, you know, Burnett Street. Do you know Burnett Street? No. What's Burnett Street? It's in New Brunswick where they yeah. lived. Uh -huh. And I don't know, there were 10 kids. My grandfather mm -hmm. never made any money that I know of. Uh, he had this dry goods store, and he was a pack peddler mm -hmm. early on. And um, they just never had any money, period. So everything was a luxury. 
Yeah. My father would never believe this. Mm. <laughs> well, would he? Would he think this is having made it? Money was not. It wasn't how you made it. Mm -hmm. My father was much more interested in in leading. I guess what he would call a good life. What's, what, what which was uh, being of service and, and uh -huh. so on, as long as your family had enough to eat and a, a yeah. roof over their heads. Yeah. It was very strange on, on my, my mother would come and buy a new dress and show it to me and say, why didn't you get six of them, you know, and just... <laughs> <laughs> so this, you think he would consider this over the top also, perhaps, oh, yeah. yeah, from his yeah. perspective? My father, Uncle Jerry used to take him out for dinner all the time. My father would always order the cheapest thing on the menu. Mm. Maybe a bowl of soup or something like that. Mm -hmm. Couldn't spend money. Mm -hmm. We never, when we were kids, of course, that was much more common then. We never went out to eat. So did you, did you inherit that kind of oh, philosophy or for your I own personal be, Well, life? yes. My husband thinks I'm terrible. Um, but I don't think my daughters inherited it. Mm. Hmm. Unfortunately, they, they're both making a living, so... Mm. Well, how, how, has, how has that feeling about serving the community as opposed to acquiring wealth affected your life? Well, I'm sure that, uh, that it has rubbed off. I mean, I've, you know, doing things all my life and mm -hmm. I find it difficult not to. So I'm sure that my father that was a big influence. My mother too. My mother was so uh, my mother was a great feminist. Mm -hmm. You know, she had only girls and the girls could do whatever they wanted. Mm-hmm. Mm. Was, was she active in uh, women's suffrage and I don't know exactly, you know. Here she was, a city girl, moving right. up to Ellenville, this town of 3,000. In New York? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, in, in the Catskills. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think women's suffrage particularly, but, you know, a woman's club mm -hmm. and the Council of Jewish Women and you know, mm -hmm. various, various, and probably PTA, I don't know. But, Have you been coming to the picnics for, for quite a while? Well, I've been coming to the picnics ever since they were held either at Barry's or here. Mm -hmm. Now, at some point, I think they were held at a park in New Brunswick, and I don't think I ever went to that mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. I, my parents did, but you know, mm -hmm. I lived out of this area for you know, Where did you grow up? In yeah, Ellenville. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And my parents moved to New York after I left home. Mm -hmm. So, so what are you doing? Are you making a film? Well, yeah, it's a video for the family. We were hoping to get people to say certain things and then we would like play it against each, each other and get money for it through blackmailing. No. No. You're not going to do that. No. No, I, mean, I think it'll probably be pretty crudely spliced. We were solicited we were, because Kenny used to video yes. the, the family picnics and he stopped a while ago, and, and, and several people thought it would be nice to Started. pick that up again. And I know. At, at one of the picnics, he had some videos of my father and Aunt Bessie. Mm -hmm. Right, You're right. The, the older. I was hoping Uncle Milton would be here, because I hadn't seen him in a long time. Mm. Yeah, we thought he was going to be mm -hmm. here, but um, so they didn't make it. I just, what are your general feelings about coming to the family picnic, having seen the family sort of grow and mature and die and change and evolve and... Well, I like coming to the family picnic to see people because it's probably the only time all year I see them. You know, I don't live in New Jersey and mm -hmm. a lot of the others see each other on various occasions. We used to have a Seder, mm -hmm. which was uh, another occasion when we would see each other. The big Seders. The what, whole family. What, like a hundred people? Yes. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. There was some talk of reviving that. Would that would that interest you, or is that probably? Then I wouldn't have to have so many arguments with my husband. We, could, where we, would go we could have it in this barn. Mm -hmm. We could be, you know, yeah, right. <laughs> include and the horses. They used to have them initially, as I remember it, in Uncle Jerry's basement. Mm -hmm. 
and then it outgrew that, and then they used to go to a restaurant or something in Somerville mm -hmm. or around yeah. there, Hayden yeah. House or something. Yeah. Mm. It would be a large one. Yeah. The only uh, problem I have with the family picnics is that I don't have the opportunity to sit and talk to people. Everybody's so busy mm -hmm. with the, with the little ones and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Right. It's very active, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's 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 problem with and a you big know, family, not, I suppose. They're not too many of my generation. Mm -hmm. mm. There's Barry Mitchell, uh, who was you know, my first cousin, and my sister Lenore. Uh, Madeline, I guess. Yeah. But who else is of that generation? What about the um, on the Fritz side? Kenny and Barry. Kenny and Barry. Yeah. Um, and Essie, if she had come, and Will. Right. But, uh, you know, we, we're dying off, too. Yeah. But, but the new ones are coming in. Oh, yes. In Replacement. great number. Replacements. <laughs> <laughs> Big numbers. Great numbers. Has this family been important to you in your life? I grew up too far removed. Mm -hmm. Up in New York. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. no, they were never an integral part of my life right. like they were for the Jerseyites. Right. Yeah. Oh, I there you go. Can't believe you. You never let yeah, me. Here, let me show you. Oh, yeah. No, I'm kidding. You want, you want Carson? Put your head, show Sophie how to put, put your head flat and your fingers together. There you go. See you? We were up in Connecticut for a wedding last night. We had to go over here. We got home really late last night. Do you want to get down? Really late. Sorry. Where's the... Oops! He's right here. Do you want to go through the more? Put your finger... Carson, come on. Here, let me have it. I'll do it. Come on. There we go. To each other. You're not afraid, are you? This is Sharon on the right, and this is Giuseppe. Giuseppe. How you doing? The food is great. Thank you. It's, it's wonderful. Good. Doing a great job. Oh, you're welcome. I hope you're enjoying the picnic. Oh, it's wonderful. Oh, we are. And you are, sir? I'm Steve. This is Steve. Well, Steve, the food is wonderful. Thank you. You're doing I'll a great you job. I hope you're enjoying the picnic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a great time. Wow. We, we know the Lyle, you want to sit in the front? Yeah. 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 We know the Lyle.
I don't have that much. Strawberries on the inside? Making the decision on what I want. Cutting the cake. Yeah, for the next day. I'm going to make the strawberries. I'm going to go back to the other side. I'll serve it. Okay. I just want to bring it. I don't want to take the cake. Yeah. 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 Emily. Emily, take it. I don't know. Take it. Someone else will take it. You know? Oh, I didn't see it. 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 We're walking toward the family baseball game through this beautiful arbor in Bedminster, New Jersey. This is Ellen Kay talking, daughter of Marilyn Kay, daughter of Harry. Florence and Harry Levine. So Ellen is Harry's granddaughter. Now we're going to turn towards the pool, and this is Robin Levine daughter of Edie and Louis Levine. And let's Amy check out Fiverson. the pool. Here's Amy Fiverson and Ben in the pool. And they have the whole pool to themselves at this moment. And then we'll keep walking and see who else we see on the way to the softball game. In my day, the softball game was only the men. But since those times, we've liberated. And now there are often females in the in the softball game and here we have phoebe and holden on the ground and then phoebe is herman's living granddaughter and then we have kelly who's married to Alan Berman, who is the grandson of Jerry Levine. And there's uh, Brandon, Kelly's son, so would be the great-grandson of Jerry Levine. Kel Berman, Madeline Berman, grandson of Madeline Berman and Charles Berman. And Lynn, who is David Berman's wife. And then we have me wife of Jay Fiverson and their little girl, Astrid, who's 18 months old. It's just and Jay Fiverson is the grandson of Irving Levine and the son of Estabel and Dick Fiverson. And now we're going to move along to the game. Watch your step. <laughs> Okay. We can see some of the spectators already sitting under the shade of a nice tree. We're going to be walking up these steps to the field. And here is the game already in progress. Madeline Berman. I don't think you want to see this. She doesn't think we want to see this. No. And this is David, they the... They just had two guys run into each other. David is one. Oh, there was yeah, an accident. This is a softball game. We have everywhere been... from Miles, who is three years old, up to, who's the oldest, looks like Bill. Billy Levine might be the oldest yes. member on the team. There's Barry Fritz in the outfield, and Robert yes. Levine in the way outfield. Grandson of? Grandson uh, of Irving and, Irving and Dossie, and son of Billy Levine. So we have some father-son. Son. There's Danny waving. Robert's son. We're in the outfield out there. And there's Bob, partner of Ellen K in the pitcher's mound at the moment. And Mark, Robert Levine's son, at bat. And we'll kind of get a few other pictures. And there's Nicole Fritz, our token woman on the field, daughter of Barry who's in the back. And now we'll sort of see about the spectators. Ah, here's Marissa Levine. Marissa is the daughter of Barry Mitchell and Diane Levine, granddaughter of Louis and Edith Levine, followed by Allison, who's shielding her son Benjamin from the sunshine, and Brenda Fritz. Nursing the New York Times. <laughs> 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 yeah. And Suzanne Chris. Oh, what happened, John? And, and here we are, busily working oh, on no, shredding yeah, the grass. Shredded. What are you making? Quilts. Oh, quilts. Sophie and Carson. Both five years old. Five year olds. Sophie. Cousins. Sophie is the daughter of Ellen and Bob, granddaughter of Marilyn and Al. 
great granddaughter of Florence and Harry. So what Carson is a movie that's being is the daughter of David and Phoebe. Granddaughter of Lini. Great granddaughter of Herman and Pearl. And Tanta Edie over here watching the softball game with her niece Megan. Her granddaughter Megan, sorry, who just moved over there to talk to her sister Marissa. And Suzanne and her fiance John are heading off the field at the moment. Uh, I think I want to go. Yeah. It just takes a huge battle for it to happen. Uh, I was really strict with my Like, I was really a little, you know, cuckoo about the sleeping rules. And this time I'm not. Like, yeah. I would have never, like, even if I had to do it, I would nurse him, but I would make him. The medic has arrived. That's what Mommy Penny's department should be. It's so The whole thing is super contemporary. They got rid of everything. Mom says now she doesn't want furniture. She was the one that looks so beautiful. I want to put the furniture <laughs> That was Max up last. Now he's my mom Max's just dad, renovating Gary. her apartment. We're looking at pictures. Grandson uh, of Myra and Mara. Just super contemporary. Great grandson of Annie and Jeff. And the sides are changing. It's legal in Vermont, where <laughs> Sophie comes from. Oh, Nicole Fritz is no up at bat. Yes! Run, Nicole! I <laughs> yelled the girls at bat, and I just tried to keep my sensibility. And I said to Suzanne, are you having fun? And she said, I'm not sure. I said, well, how do you feel about this? And she said she was nine. She said, you know, there won't be a problem if I'm good enough. And I thought, oh, she understands this game. And she was good. But a whole, a whole six months, the only wow. one on the team. So finally, after about... Whoa, heads up! I finally oh. said... Grandpa Barry, ow. When the mothers kept saying, oh, the girls are bad, I said, she has a name, her name is <laughs> so tired of it. And it was, oh. That's funny. Oh, jeez, oh, that's meany. Messy Bessie. Oh. Messy Bessie. Oh. Oh, they're quickening, and now they're changing again. Woo, I feel that wind. <laughs> Go, Marissa! <laughs> All right, Marissa! <laughs> Is that the designated runner, Max? Yeah. Nicole Fritz as the other yep. female and with Melissa on the field. Now, up at bat is David King.
everybody stays. <laughs> Cameraman. Are you playing? playing? Oh, Max got out. Did Max make it? Takes another look. Father-in-law backing up. That's Mr. Barry Fritz. Ooh. Oh, a long one for center field. And a couple of bobbles and boost. Billy Levine throws it home. Okay, this is Brian, Nicole Fritz's fiance. Long, all right, Billy. Yeah, Brian's in the pitch, pitcher's spot. <laughs> Sophie at the plate. This is Sophie, daughter of Bob and Ellen. Granddaughter. Granddaughter of Marilyn and Alfred. Great granddaughter. Great granddaughter. Of who? Harry and Florence. Harry and Florence. I can't remember. Has the dad been around longer? Yeah. I need prompting. Another swing. Assisted by Mother Ellen. As Brian moves in for a slow ball. Uh, I think she's racing to first. Okay, up at plate it now is Carson, daughter of Phoebe and David. Granddaughter of Lini. Granddaughter of Lini and Alvin. And great granddaughter, great granddaughter of, of Herman, Herman and, and Pearl. Pearl. The exhibition swing. Okay. Stepping up to the plate now is Mr. Barry Fritz, father of Nicole and Allison. Grandfather, grandfather of Miles, Miles ben. and Ben, and son of Anna Annette and Uncle Herb. All right, now Brian's getting ready to... Pitch to his future father-in-law. Pitch to his future father-in-law. Gary takes a look. Again, Brian winds up. Gary takes a big swing, foul ball. Whoops. And here are a few spectators. Yes. Who are you? Um, I am... Tamara's daughter, Tammy's daughter. Tammy's is, daughter? Yes. And Tammy is daughter Helen, of? Helen and Howard. Helen and Howard. Yes. And your? And oh. Helen is uh, Grandpa Herman's daughter. Okay. And how many picnics have you, have you attended? I don't know. A lot. A lot. <laughs> a lot. Good many. And, uh... Do you play in the softball games usually? No, no, it's not Spectator? my Spectator? It's my nap time during the softball games. <laughs> <laughs> I think I remember seeing you over there by the pool. Yeah. As a matter of fact, yeah. you're right, you're right. 